of December 7, 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, forcing the United States to join World War II. After four years, the war in Europe ended when Nazi Germany signed its surrender, but the Pacific War with Japan continued. So, the United States decided to drop two atomic bombs to try and end the war. One of the places they decided to bomb was Hiroshima because it was unlikely to be attacked by the month of August, which was when they planned to drop the bomb, and it was also a target larger than three miles, and it was in a large urban area, so the blast would cause effective damage. Um, they wanted to drop the atomic bomb in a place where it would cause damage because they felt the best way to get Japan to surrender and agree to their terms was to scare them. He's traveling at the speed of light, cast a shadow over Hiroshima and over the land of the rising sun. These films, taken by the Japs and confiscated after the armistice, tell a dramatic story of destruction and terror that followed in the wake of the first atom bomb loosed over a military target. 30% of the city's population was killed, some by radioactive gamma rays, others by the heat of radiation that showed its intensity in many freakish ways. On July 26, 1945, the United States told Japan to surrender and threatened them with prompt and utter destruction. But the Japanese government ignored the warning, and so the United States dropped a nuclear bomb on Hiroshima called Little Boy on August 6th and Fat Man over Nagasaki on August 9th. The bomb exploded and all of a sudden the famous mushroom cloud arose and you could no longer see the city. Two thirds of Hiroshima was destroyed and the immediate effects of the blast killed 70,000 people in Hiroshima. Clay roof tiles melted together, shadows were imprinted on buildings, and metal and stone melted. People's skin was blackened by burns and hung down and sometimes fell off completely. Many of the people tried to walk to hospitals, but instead they died in the streets. The Shima Hospital and all of its patients were vaporized, and 88% of people within a radius of 1,500 feet died instantly or later that day. The black rain that fell was pitch black, as if it had been mixed with black ink. So, for example, a ceramic rice ball exposed to the black rain was covered with a coat of what looked like coal tar that couldn't be washed off. Also, there was no running water, so we used water from a well to wash. The well water was also contaminated by the black rain, because the black rain showered down on everything. We drew water from the well and tried hard to wash our hands with it. We just wanted to get clean. On August 15th, Japan surrendered. The bombing also caused much damage to families. Due to the radiation exposure, many women gave birth to children with malformations, and others developed serious cancers such as leukemia. It was estimated that there were over 4,000 orphan children, and many of them were forced into a life of crime so that they could provide for themselves. The elderly were also affected because many of their loved ones who had supported them had been killed and they were left alone. Even today, people are still affected by the bombings. They suffer from hypertension, tend to have a higher rate of breast cancer, have thyroid and gastrointestinal problems, suffer from exhaustion, memory loss, and severe anxiety. Every August 6, since 1952, a moment of silence descends over the Peace Park in Hiroshima, Japan to commemorate the estimated 200,000 victims of the atomic bomb.